Bonnie Francis. I'm here with Bonnie Walter, and we're going to do the seasoned adult show. We talk about the senior centers and what's happening. Yep. So tell us for the month of June, what are we starting out with, Bonnie? Okay, well, basically, the one thing I want to promote um, is our swim class, which has been really successful. We had 35 seniors. Wow. In the pool. There is only one indoor pool currently in Queen Anne County, right. and it's in the industrial park up off of Route 8 there in Kent Island, and they've been very gracious to work with the senior centers. Uh, we do, we have two days, we have Tuesday and Thursday, and Tuesday we're doing, uh, it's not a one-on-one swim class, but you're learning the basics of swimming, uh, a lot of good exercises to do in the pool. Mm -hmm. Um, and the seniors were really funny. They said, oh, this is so much easier in the water than it is oh, on yeah. land. And we have some folks who really struggled with the exercise on land, and they're doing awesome. Um, we also have three seniors that came in who were really kind of afraid to put their foot in the water. They're now swimming. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, so we're excited yeah. about that. We were teasing them that now they move over to We have it kind of divided folks that are swimming, so they're learning some stroke techniques. They're swimming laps, that kind of thing. So we told them next step is the Senior Olympics. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, so they yeah. all laughed like, no, no, yeah. no. I said, oh, yeah, we're going to get you in there. Um, so they still have openings? We How do does that for, work? We do for June. You need to either go to Ken Island or Graysonville Senior Center to sign up. It's on Tuesday and Thursday from 11 to 12. It's fifteen dollars for a four-week session. Okay. Uh, fifteen dollars for Tuesday, fifteen dollars for Thursday. A lot of the folks are doing both days, because really one day in the water a right. week is not enough if you really want to get going. So they go and they learn the exercises and what have you um, on Tuesdays, and then Thursdays they go and work out. Some of the folks go and do their lap swimming, but it's really been a great great opportunity for us. The thing that helps there, I know, because my mother does swimming up in Pennsylvania, and um, it helps with your flexibility. Yes. Um, when she has stairs in her house and she doesn't go swimming, she notices it. It's harder on her leg Oh, muscles. yes, it so is. So something like that is, is really good for seniors to just be moving more, being more agile and that type of thing. Right. Well, anything you read about uh, senior exercise always promotes the strength training. Right. But sometimes using the weights is a little stressful for folks. Right. But the water automatically gives you resistance. So exactly. you don't have to wear weights. You're getting that resistance just from the water. So you just learn to use the water as your friend right. to accomplish a lot of that. So there is still openings for June. As I said, we've really been excited and we've gotten three or four new members to the senior centers because we made them come in the center to, to sign, sign up. up. Yeah. And the pool's very glad because they've got a couple of new members there as well. Was that like, oh, I'll never be able to go to that gym because I can't afford it, number one. She's given us a, a special rate right. uh, for seniors, which was very gracious of them to do so. Um, and the fact that they got introduced to some of that, even, and they have access, some of them have access to summer pools and, and never used them. Right. They'll be using them this summer because now they feel comfortable going in. And they got some tips about um, the grandkids are coming and you're not a great swimmer and what you need to do if they get a little, if they get out in water that's a little over their head or they, right. what they need to do. Some coaching on what you need to encourage the grandkids to do. Uh, the tread water, flip over to your back, like all those little things we kind of know, but we need to be reminded about. Right. So it's been a really successful program. Um, and as far as the first week of June, we're kind of winding down our classes this session. Uh, we will have, we redoing um, our registration in June. So about the second week of June, we should have all the registration forms mm -hmm. from the college. I uh, just want to remind folks, we talked about having our ad in the Women's Journal for all three centers. They had such a great response from folks that really liked that all that information was in one spot right. from all three centers that were doing it again. Um, actually, we broke it down um, to give you the senior center information, address, phone numbers, but there's also kind of a, a, a sheet. I don't know if you can pick this up or not, Mike, but basically they're showing every one of the activities or classes that we're having and which center it, it is. Now you need to call your local center for date and time. Right, so they can sign up. Yes, and, right. but like just to give you for instance, I mean, there's a book club in two centers, there's ballroom dance in all of three, there's bridge in two centers, um, there's bingo in all three centers, um, ceramics in, in two centers, computer class should be taking place in all three. Just to give you for instance, there's also, um, there's an exercise class usually five days a week in at least Kent Island and Graceville. Seldersville's coming up to speed with some of that as well. Now, if someone hasn't seen our program before, yes, 
let's explain how they sign up for this. Okay. What they need to do. Okay. We the senior centers um, are very fortunate. There's some grant money that comes to the, the um, use of the centers, but it has to filter through an institution, an, an um, educational institution. So we partner with Chesapeake College. And because of that, the classes are so much cheaper right. than if you went out privately. Not, not to push the private gyms, but right. you know, that right. kind of thing. it is. So basically you go into your local senior center and you basically sign up for the class. There's a, a very minimal fee for the classes. It depends which class it is, how long the class is, right. what the how fee. How many days. How many days. So it runs from $15 for a 12, 15 week session up to 30 when when your class is twice a week. Right. So you can see you're, you're getting your money's worth for a 12 to 15 week class. Right. You register in um, July, that class will run through October. You register in October, that runs through February. February runs through July. It's a three month cycle for the classes. So it's the best deal in town. Right. But um, it was interesting um, having them sign up for the swim class, for instance, coming to the senior center, they said, oh, we just need to get you in there. Once you get you yeah. in there, we got you hooked because you'll see. Um, There's a lot going on. Yeah. And, and you get to meet other people. Yes. And, and they have become really close friends. They're and, like a and, second family. Yeah. Yeah. As we joke and we say, it's not your grandma, grandmother's senior center. Right. Nobody's sitting around taking naps. No. You know, you're busy. You have your classes. You meet some great friends. Um, so it's a great place to go. Uh, there's yoga. There's Zumba. There's rock cooking, which they do awesome work. There's quilting, there's Pilates, there's arthritis exercise if you haven't really gotten into it. Um, there's oil painting um, and some other painting classes. Um, the one a lot of them like is the moving and grooving class. Right. Um, I think you've seen that in mm -hmm. action. It's a lot of the dances we, we our age group used to do. Right. But we're doing it to music, and it's a great exercise if you just don't want to do a regimen and exercise class. So the dancing's right. a great exercise. There's line dance. There's everything. There's something for everybody. So I urge you just to... Yeah, again, if you can get all the information when you do the show, pick up the Women's Journal. It's in the doctor's offices. It's in the libraries. Um, and it will give you this chart, and you can put it on your right. refrigerator and figure out where you want to go when. So that's kind of what's going on the first week of June, other than the, the step on class, which we talked about how excited we were that Sellersville was getting that. That's still going on. It's a free class on Mondays. And that, that has to do with balance and, and balance, helping. Balance, some, some um, health issues, um, some good at starting exercises to right. do to kind of get you going if you haven't been doing it. And it, you know that old expression, if you don't use it, you lose it. Right. And we see that all the time with our seniors that aren't active. Um, so if you're interested in that movement class, Sellersville has that. Does Graysonville have uh, that going on They had on right it now? going on. They're actually They're, doing a, a reunion okay. today. Um, because um, bringing people back in a month after they've done the class, so how's it going? You know, are you still doing this? And again, to reinforce what they right. learned, that you need to keep it going. Right, kind of and thing. you refresh them. Yes. You know, in case they <coughs> forgot that. Oh, that's right, we did learn. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, and again, go, talking about the first week of June, uh, Graceville's taking a trip to the medieval times, so they're going to have dinner and witness the tournament. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, they are sold out for that one. Again, when you see a, a trip advertised and you like it, call and get your name on the list because right. the trips fill up. They're so great and a lot of fun that they fill up very quickly. Um, Ken Island uh, has, and, each, and Ken Island does, Graysonville does it as well. They have a fitness trainer once a month that comes. So and Ken Island's doing that the first uh, Monday, June 1st. Okay. We'll be in their gym to help people understand the machines, know exactly how to use them, that kind of thing. So you might want to keep that in mind. And again, we're getting ready for the classes to start again. So it's a lot of fun. Come so in, come register. In. Yeah. You just got to step to the door. It's really not painful. And you'll you'll be glad you did. All righty. That's a start for the month. You got it. We'll pick it up from there. Yes, sir. Come out and register. <laughs>